Samus. Mar Falcon Samus. I don't know anything about this matchup. Um, it's <laughs> it's rough. For, it's very rough for Samus. Really? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Duck. Okay. Isn't it top three? Yeah. Duck talks a lot about this matchup. He thinks that Falcon and Sheik are like equally hard, but in completely different ways. So, um, Hugs does really well in this matchup. He really likes the Falcon matchup. So a lot, a lot of it comes down to play style and like really knowing like how to how to snuff Falcon. That's what this matchup really comes down to. I'm not sure how much experience either of these guys have in this matchup. Yeah. So we'll probably get to see them learn some stuff as it goes on. Yeah, Pete's a very good player in general. So I feel like... Yeah, he's just good at neutral at the rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. But, I mean, Richie has a pretty crazy play style, so he probably won't get Pete the chance to set up his neutral trades. Oh, nice. Oh, that was oh, sick. Okay. Yeah, so that's one, of, that's one of the reasons why this is very hard for Samus. Falcon can just get one hit and then all, pretty much always follow it up into a knee. Wait, is this recording right now? Yeah. Okay. It's not streaming, but it's recording. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, it seems like Pete... Yeah, go. It seems like Pete Samus does really well versus someone who's willing to like play passive against him because he likes that. Right. Like he likes to set up and mind games. But yeah. Richie just kind of runs in at his leisure. Yeah. Also, oh, the moonwalk. Also, what I'm seeing a lot from Pete Samus, he seems to... Um, he, he treats Samus like she's an aerial character, and she's not. Mm -hmm. Like, her aerials are there to kind of do ch tech chases, but other than that, you really need to stay on the ground with her. Yeah, especially, like, forward tilt is so good. I would imagine it's really good against Falcon. Stuff his approaches. Oh. You heard me. Or up tilt as well. It's um, it's a little slower at the beginning, but there's a lot less lag at the end. And it's a nice, strong, vertical wall, like, right in front of her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, I think Samus, the way Samus should play this matchup is just, like, stand still. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> So you know Richie's just gonna oh, oh double triple oh he's dead oh no oh, oh my Pete god saved him. he's gonna be dead <laughs> all right that was amazing I'm not gonna question how that worked <laughs> Richie's just getting so many raw knees it's kind of crazy actually ooh nice really good mix up made it look like he was gonna back up then immediately went in with the side B yeah see Pete needs to just be doing that kind of stuff yeah. Wave dashing back, baiting out the approaches. But he's trying to fight Falcon in the air, which, like you said, not very smart. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh, that was Go. sick. Yeah, like, Samus's aerials are... They're really good at intercepting, but they're not good at trading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Especially with Falcon's knee. Does not look like he got the Oh, benefit. yeah, no. That's something you don't want to really challenge with Samus. I don't think he got any of... Like, he, he didn't come out on top of almost any of those trades. Yeah, see, he read Pete coming in right there, which is kind of weird. Oh, oh my goodness. Starting off strong. It's kind of a tricky recovery. I think you could probably avoid getting oh, a shield grab there. Yeah. Now, that's a classic thing that you have to do against Falcon for every matchup, is once they're off stage, you want to keep them off stage. His, Falcon's recovery can be very, very tricky, but it's also very, it's it's linear and tricky, because he has a lot of, because he's a very short sure you can type, so it's yeah, very, he has a lot of drift. like, you know what he's going to be doing, but he has a lot of drift, and he can Ooh. kind of vary what he wants to do. Richie catching him with two, oh, oh. we're going for it all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, shake it off. Nice, good grab. Yeah, wow, that was really good dash dancing. Just kind of, Peen's not one to usually sit and shield, but... Oh, really good platform. Yeah, it seems like Peen is just throwing out hitboxes. And... Well, Samus just have a little bit more lag to them, so it's, you can't really be doing that a lot. Yeah, you can tell, like, Samus is so slow. Falcon's just, like, du like double his speed. Like, Richie's just chasing down Peen wherever he goes. Oh, that was a really good up tilt, though. 
Fiend's starting to play more mobile. He's starting to zone a little bit. Yeah. Oh, should probably should have had that. Oh, that's that was sick. sick. Yeah. I think he could have grappled there though, right? Didn't have to up Um, I think so. Yeah. He would have had, he would have had to weevil out, but yeah, he could have done it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Go for it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Richie's up 2-0. 2-0? Trying to get that upset. I mean, I don't know if this counts as an upset, but... <laughs> Alright, Beanstick and Falcon. Or, uh, Samus. Samus, yeah. Man, this would be... I could not play Samus, it's just too slow. I couldn't slow my mind down to. I um I really like like I really like Samus as a character, mm -hmm. but uh I don't know I, I have the same kind of problem that Peen seems to have like I use her in the air way too much. I, you know, like, I'm a Zelda I'm used to <laughs> kicking people in the air right. I mean I definitely respect you guys that play slow characters because it's so much more mental game than it is just being able to press buttons fast. Yeah no it's like. <laughs> When I play Fox and I'm like really feeling it, it, it's really nice, but it's also... <laughs> Peen goes for a lot of up smashes. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Read the landing. Yeah, Richie's been kind of running out of him. He hasn't been chilling much, so that's a pretty safe read. That was interesting. A reverse down smash there. Happy couldn't have been in a lot of trouble if he went off stage there, but he got lucky. Ooh, good shield. Yeah, that's another reason why Samus' aerials aren't the greatest. Like, <laughs> he just went for a short hop neutral air, and Happy was able to punish with a knee. Like, <laughs> Oh, Richie can shield drop? God, I need to get on oh, that. Oh, that was nice. Richie's looking really good in his movement. He's getting a lot of good grabs. And as, as I say that, he gets stuffed so <laughs> trying to dash attack. Oh, oh Pingo's for the style. He could have just forward smashed. <laughs> Make him pay, Richie. <laughs> yeah, like right there. That area, that back air was really good because he was kind of drifting away as Falcon was going. Like Falcon's going to the to the right and Samus was going to the left. And it was more of an intercept than trying to Ooh. actually directly challenge. He says, I'm not going to get hit this time. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, spot dodge is really good for Samus. I think, like, I don't know what you do against that as Falcon. I guess, as Marth, you just neutral her because it covers the spot dodge. Yeah, no, like, when Samus is in her shield, there's basically three things that she's going to do. She's going to wave dash out, she's going to spot dodge, and she's going to up -y. Like, there's not really too much more that she can do. Yeah, Pete didn't up out of shield much, because mainly because Richie didn't give him a chance to. He wasn't hitting his shield a lot. Right. In the stadium, yeah. Happy Rue likes this stage. Yeah, he counterfeited it twice against me. I think he likes the space. Uh, but he like he also wants some platforms. So he doesn't want to go up to you. Mm. Although like Fiend doesn't know how to do the missiles on this, but I think Falcon would be really screwed if Yeah. If Sam's gonna missile camp. Dude, the double laser stall is insanely good. I remember I played a Samus at Genesis and like they started the match the first like twenty seconds, he was just doing that. And I was like, <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> There. Uh, Richie getting a little. He's not going for the grabs as much. I'm just trying to go for like five raw aerials. In yeah, row. I want to see a lot more neutral airs probably. Yeah. Like, especially on Peen's shield. He's getting a little like nervous. He's trying to rush the kill, but he just needs to get percentage. Like, yeah. you can't you can't always guarantee you're going to kill Samus yeah, without like, edge guarding. Like, you have to. Yeah, go. You have to be able to like edge guard, or at least try to edge guard Samus. You can't yeah. just always rely on getting the kill off the screen. Yeah, no. And the reason the reason that Falcon's so good at this matchup is not because he can just do a raw kill move really easily. It's that he has a lot of moves to set up into the kill moves. Yeah. Oh, he got unlucky. Edge canceled off the transformation. <laughs> All right. I really like how the the smallest blast and the largest have like the same exact sound effect. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <It's> really. <laughs> 
Yeah, and then when you do the small ones, it sounds like you're playing ping pong. Yeah. Yeah, Richie's going in. All right. Mm. It'll be interesting to see if he goes back to stadium. Oh. I just. Oh no. Honestly, it just looked like um, Richie hasn't changed how he's playing much. He just kind of caught on to his approaches. Yeah. That's, that's really the main difference. Richie, I think Richie now that now that Pete has mm, has on the back foot, he needs to start playing Pete's game, which yeah. is playing patient and neutral, waiting for his openings. We can't trade now, but he's, he's going to go for them regardless. Ah, that's unfortunate. Got to shake that off. Maybe pick a small stage actually. <laughs> All right, game five. Uh, can we get a delay a game here? Pina is on his phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, that's <better. laughs> Hi, Jake. <laughs> Pina's probably not even talking to anyone. He's just like pretending he has friends. <laughs> Alright, I can't talk. I'm bottom this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to make that 3 0 comeback. <laughs> Flag. We're gonna give a one stock penalty to Richie. <laughs> to Richie, what? Yeah, so Pete gets one stock. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Goes to Battlefield. I think I, I like it. I do. Yeah. Um, gives Falcon a top platform to work with. Also, doesn't it make uh, Sam's scrap a little bit more awkward? That's very true. Yeah. I mean, Stadium Stadium's undersides a lot. It's 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 wonky, but it's still bigger than this stage. I think we should about the top platform is really yeah. crucial because Richie uses that a lot. So mainly to escape, actually, but it's still yeah. useful. The problem with Stadium, like, it's really good for Falcon. The problem with it, though, is that the platforms are so far away that you can't, you have to, you have to approach in a very specific way or else it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Uh, just getting red a little bit. He's yeah. reading his approaches. Now his spot dodges. It's just like when you know someone's coming at you all the time. Like, so you just, you know he's just going to come at you on the platform. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you can use that to your advantage. Oh, no it's, not, it's not, it's not like, it's what you, you can force the opponent to do what you want because you can make him Ooh, see what you nice. want him to see. See, that time he messed it up, he was patient, you know? Mm -hmm. Pete expected him to drop through the first time and he did it on the yeah. third time. That's just really the big difference. Richie has, oh, he has the mix-ups, he just needs to start being a little patient. Yeah. Oh, oh, very risky. That oh, jumps yeah. over the That's a thing. Through. That is definitely a thing. See, instead of maybe a knee there, try to go for a grab. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. <laughs> oh, no coaching. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, he shouldn't be able to hit me. But. He's just getting spot dodged, which I guess is, is a separate problem. Yeah. Oh, oh. He keeps trying to air dodge there, I think. Yeah, that's something you gotta remember. Like when Samus down pushes you off stage, you're turned around. Like you, you're gonna have to recover. You can't just turn around unless you're Marth or some character that can do a quick B reversal. Ooh, okay. Let's see how he gets this. He's gonna grapple, I think. Yeah, you gotta keep the ledge there. Mm. Sometimes you just gotta give character space if you don't have a very good ledge game. Yeah. Okay, there we go. He can kind of put himself in that, but we'll take it. Oh, that's it. I think. Oh wow. That was the craziest mix-up. Like he didn't have a jump. Oh, that was nice. Richie's gonna need a miracle though, I think. Oh, oh. oh, that might be it. Oh, oh. I think he <laughs> Oh, Pete's trying to give it to him. He's doing his best. I remember, this is game five. Let's go, Richie. Oh. 
Peen's yeah, on. yeah, Peen's catching on. He he knows that Richie wants to escape. Oh. Although, this is very dangerous for Sam for Peen right now. Yeah. Like, one, a, one knee, like a nair or an up air into a knee is going to seal the deal. I think you should try to do, like, approaching, uh, have you, you know, like, approaching up air where you do it at the very last possible second? Oh, yeah, that's really good. That's like, that would be the perfect scoop, I think, at this percentage. Oh, my God, dude, this is so close. Oh, that's oh, it. That's I think it. that's it. Unless Peen tries to style. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff to peen. Boo! Where was the down air? Boo! Ledge, ledge grabber. 